You're about to watch the Polly Demerts channel. Enjoy. Hey everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'm Polly Demerts. In this video, I'm going to talk about pizza. Have you ever made a spectacular pizza and then you try to make it again and you couldn't make that same pizza? It didn't turn out just as nice as that previous one? There's many reasons and it's not always in your control. And I'm going to tell you how to make a pretty much perfect pizza. And it's all about consistency. Establishing your signature pizza dough and running with it. So here are my list of bullets. To making great pizza. Number one. Be ready to record everything you do every time you make a pizza because eventually when you make that perfect one you're gonna say wow how did I make that you might not remember it I'm telling you it's just some little variables that can change the outcome of pizza making yeah write it down and I'm not just talking about the recipe or what the if you are following a recipe it's not just what the recipe instructions are know what you did by writing it down bullet number two know your equipment regardless of what kind of oven it is wood burning propane or countertop oven or kitchen oven range how long does it take to heat up if you're using a pizza steel how long does it take to get that pizza steel to the desired temperature according to that recipe if you want to use a pizza peel, do you know how to use it? Are you using the right size container for proofing your dough? Is your recipe bigger than your mixer, if using one? Is the capacity of your oven big enough for the pizza you're making? I'm going to group together three and four. Temperatures and time. Time and temperature. Because they're so, so connected to each other. Generally speaking, colder temperatures usually mean more time, which is good. I'll get back to that. Warmer temperatures is usually it's cooking or it's, it's going to take less time. Yeah, longer, colder fermentation processes is always better, builds better structure. And I'm telling you, it's amazing. Yes, you can definitely make a good pizza in the morning and enjoy it in the evening but imagine if you took the time gave it that time to be a great pizza i'm telling you it's a fact that is the biggest trick in making pizza giving it time two to three days and you're gonna have a fabulous pizza another thing about temperature is what's the room temperature where you're making the where you're making your pizza if it's hot like in the summer or you don't have air conditioning what's the humidity like it's going to affect your pizza. It may make your dough sticky. Uh, speaking of making dough, it's actually better to make dough with cold ingredient. It gives you that time to have that long fermentation. Also with that long fermentation, it, it gives that dough a nice chance to build better structure. And in the end, you're going to get better handling out of that dough. If you think when you make pizza dough, it's always stickier every time you make it and you can't, it's hard for you to stretch it. That's why, it needs time. So when you're about to make the pizza, make sure you give that pizza oven time. I've already touched on that, but uh, ensure that your pizza oven is at the right temp. Try not to put cold ingredient on top of that pizza. Cold sauce, cold cheese, try not to do it. Give it some time, be prepared. Uh, even vegetables, I like to saute them sometimes a little bit ahead of time because of the moisture factor. Speaking of moisture, mozzarella cheese, if it's fresh, there's a lot of water in that. So you're going to make sure you let it drain of that water that's in there. Let it strain out. You'll be much happier that you did. If you're making more than one pizza and you're using a pizza steel or a pizza stone, give that pizza stone or steel time to recover back up to the temperature it needs to be because that second pizza will not turn out 
as nice as that first one. That takes us to number five, handling. You don't want to over knead your dough. Yeah, you don't want to over knead your dough. You don't want to under knead your dough. If you practice making pizza dough, you will get that feel. <laughs> it's hard to explain, but it, the pizza dough will get a little bit sticky when it's about ready. It, and it's more of a feel than me telling you that, in my opinion. Ball the pizza up properly. When you ball it up, look underneath. If there's any holes in there, pinch it together. I would say learn how to use a pizza peel. It's very easy if it's on the countertop, the pizza. Don't let it sit there too long. If you wait more than five, 10 minutes, it's gonna to stick to the table. If it is sticking to the table, you can put a little bit of flour in front of that pizza and then stick that peel under there. Some people like to build the pizza on top of the peel. I don't like doing that. I like to pick it up after I get done making it. But before you gotta do that, you gotta stretch a pizza. So learn how to stretch it right so you get that nice crust on the edges if you want that. You're watching the Pauly Detmerts channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It's really easy. You don't have to be tossing it up in the air like you see some of these people doing. You just gotta stretch it out. It'll turn out. And if the dough is sticking to your fingers when you're kneading the dough, you can use a little cold water on your fingers, a little, or I, a lot of times I'll use oil, a little bit of olive oil. And this brings us to number six, ingredients. I'll just say, try to find the best quality ingredients. When you're buying cheese, make sure it's a little moisture and have your ingredients ready before you start a step in making the pizza. So if you're getting ready to make the dough, make sure you have all your stuff weighed out and measured. If you're building the pizza, make sure you got your, your toppings all ready. When you're measuring out your ingredients, no matter what it is, unless you're counting pepperonis, always use the metric system. Don't use cups, don't use measuring spoons. They're not as accurate. You want a full account for what you have made when you make that perfect pizza, because you want to make it again and measure those ingredients using metric system. In closing, let me say, have a record of what you made, because when you make that perfect one, you will regret it if you didn't record it. I always look at pizza as like fingerprints. There's no two fingerprints that are the same. In all honesty, I guarantee you there is no two pizzas all the same either. You can get them kind of uniform, you can be kind of consistent, but there are no two pizzas the same. Thank you for watching. I'm Paulie. Appreciate your time.